this smartphone is 140,000 pesos. Worth it ba? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Leia and this is our full review of Huawei's latest folding smartphone, the Huawei Mate XS. But before we get to that, here's a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Also guys, I know that the quarantine period has been extended, so please stay home as much as possible and I'd like to remind you to disinfect your smartphone. So back to the Huawei Mate XS. Around February last year during Mobile World Congress, Jamie and John were able to get their hands on the predecessor of this smartphone which is the Huawei Mate X. Now this is the improved version. It's supposed to have a stronger hinge, a more durable display, 5G, and other great features. But does it justify the cost? Is it really worth 140,000 pesos? It looks very similar to the original Mate X. Instead of the any approach used by Samsung on the Galaxy Fold where the big display is inside when folded, this phone has an outy design, so the display is outside. It has its pros and cons, so it's great that you can use it like a regular smartphone when it's folded, but of course it makes it more susceptible to scratches, to damage, although Huawei did consider that, so it has a pre-applied screen protector, Please do not remove it, and it has a double layer of polyamide for extra protection. Of course, there are those who will say that the any approach like the one used by the Samsung Galaxy Fold is better because the display will last longer and I totally get that. However, you also have to keep on opening the phone, you have to keep on unfolding it because when it is folded, that tiny screen in front is good for notifications but it's just too small to work with. With the Huawei Mate XS, you have the option of just picking up your phone, unlocking it, and using it like a normal smartphone. So let's talk about the hinge. Up to now, I'm still not used to the feeling of opening or unfolding a smartphone and sobrang kinakaban pa rin ako. And although Huawei says that the one of the Mate XS is stronger thanks to the falcon wing design, that's what they call it, it does make this tiny crunching sound and I know it's normal but I still find it really unnerving. If there's one thing I wish I can answer in this review but I cannot, it's the long-term durability of the smartphone. I mean, it feels well-built, it feels sturdy, but then again, there's a question of scratches and the wear and tear of the hinge because we'll be opening it and closing it a lot during the day, so in that sense, only time will tell. As I mentioned earlier, the Huawei Mate XS works pretty much like a regular smartphone when folded, so the display is at 6.6 .6 inches. However, when you flip it to the other side, the screen at the rear is 6.38 inches. We mostly use the rear screen as a viewfinder when taking selfies. The real magic happens when you unfold the display completely. That way you get to use an 8-inch POLED display. It's huge, it's really fun to use in browsing through websites, social media, reading ebooks, and guys, I just have to mention that Instagram looks amazing on this display. There is a crease in the middle where the folding mechanism is, but eventually you get used to it and it's not distracting anymore, you just stop seeing it. My concern with it is when watching YouTube, the dimensions of the videos are different so there are huge black bars on top and at the bottom. The size of the actual video is pretty much the same, maybe a bit bigger than when you're using a regular smartphone. As far as the display goes, the OLED panel looks great with good color saturation, excellent brightness as well as overall black levels. Now let's talk about the cameras. The Huawei Mate XS has a quad camera module on the rear and you see that it has the same Leica brand we've come to expect from Huawei flagship devices. It has a 40 megapixel main shooter with an aperture of f1.8, an 8 megapixel telephoto shooter with an aperture of f2.4, it has 2x zoom and OIS, a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera with an aperture of f2.2, and a 3D depth sensor. The image quality on the cameras are excellent. It's exactly what we've come to expect from Huawei flagship phones. The white balance is even in the photos we took and the dynamic range is spot on. It also has the same AI-powered glow light capabilities we've come to love so you're not limited to what you can shoot with this foldable phone. 
In terms of performance, the Huawei Mate XS is incredible. It's powered by the Kirin 990 chipset, which is also what's in the P40 Pro. It's paired with 8GB of RAM and 512GB of storage that can be further expanded using Huawei's NMSD card. Jamie tried gaming with it and we found no issues playing the latest Android games on maximum settings. It didn't get too warm either. I mean, it's expected for phones to heat up a bit while playing, but the heating on the Mate XS is well within the usual range. Sa mga nagtatanong, does it have Google? Well, the answer is no. Instead, what it has is Huawei's equivalent, which is Huawei Mobile Services and the App Gallery. And it already has a lot of our most used apps there. You can download it easily. But I'm sure the dami pa to guys in the coming months. Now, if you want to know how you can get your favorite apps on your Huawei smartphone, I will link our how-to video somewhere on screen or in the description box. Check nyo na lang. The phone runs on Android 10 with EMUI 10 on top. For the battery, the Huawei Mate XS has a 4500mAh one. It's good for a day and a half of use which is pretty impressive considering the size of the display. I'm also very happy that it has a 55W supercharge feature so mabilis lang talaga mag-charge. But if you have a 65W charger, lalo pang bibilis kasi it supports it as well. Personally, I like how Huawei implemented the folding phone concept on the Huawei Mate XS. I like that I have the option of just picking it up and using it like a normal smartphone and then unfolding it if I want a bigger screen. Of course, the hardware is good, the cameras are good, and the user experience is just really great. I just wish I knew more about the long-term durability of this device, and I guess I'll find out in a couple of months. There is one thing though, the price. To be exact, the Huawei Mate XS is 139,990 pesos. It's one of the most expensive smartphones that you can get your hands on. So just like the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip or the Galaxy Fold, it's not really the most practical choice. But hey, if you have the money and if you want to use tomorrow's smartphone today, then maybe this phone is worth considering. So what do you guys think of the Huawei Mate XS? Anong gusto nyo? Anong ayaw nyo? Let me know in the comment section. Actually guys, that's it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Leia. Stay safe guys. Bye!